Hello, uh, this is Rhett Elaine. I'm going to show you um, how to do calibration point pairs in Tracker. And I think I've shown this before, but uh, I found this is a, a movie that has a great example. So I'm going to go ahead and show it again, and you can follow along. Uh, so this is a video of some people running, and I've already imported it into Tracker video. Uh, let me first go ahead, go ahead and turn off fixed origin, fixed angle, fixed scale. And then I'm also going to pull up this window and edit the video properties and put a step size of four frames just because I don't want to hit all those frames um, and in fact I'll change it again later. Okay now before I do anything I'm going to set my origin. Now this is a complicated motion but these guys are running basically in one dimension so I'm going to put my axis right along that path like that. The next thing I need to do is scale the video. So I'm going to get up my scale thing here before I start my calibration point pair. This is 10 yards. So you could do it in yards. I'm going to do it in meters, 9.14 meters. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. You can leave it there if you want. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to go to create a calibration point pair. So I need to pick two points that I can I can follow along with. You could do whatever you want. I'm going to pick this point right here and this point right here. Okay. Now I just need to go to the next frame. You know, and I picked a bad frame because I forgot this guy doesn't move right away. So let me go back to this video. Let's see. Let's step forward. Okay. Let's see. Frame 40 is when I'm going to start. 36. Okay. So go back over here and start frame at 36. I don't want to have all that motion we've not doing anything. Now you see these two uh, points got moved back over there. I just need to put them back in the correct location right there. And it it put my coordinate system in the right spot and rescaled my axis. I'll do it again. Now I'm, I'm not sure why this happens but it starts them at that position a few times. Now I'll see it, it left in there. So the, the camera hasn't moved, so there's nothing I need to do. But now it moved. So I just need to push this back over here. Push that back over there. Move this one. Move this one. Let me do a couple more. Move this one. Move this one. You'll notice a problem here already. Let me, let me go forward a little bit. Okay, let me show you the next thing I need to do. It's not quite time, but soon this point right here is going to go off the frame and I won't be able to use it anymore. So I'm going to have to have another calibration point pair. You can make as many of these pairs as you want. So I'm going to make a new pair and I'm going to put it, let's say, here and here. Now in the next frame, instead of moving those old ones, I can move this one and this one. And you see it moved, it, it reframed everything so it put those other ones at the correct location. So you're going to have to do that. Um, now, but look, let me skip ahead a few frames and, and put this, let's see if I can even do this. This was way over here and this one was right here. Okay. And you'll notice this coordinate system is getting off um, and that's because of the, the panning of the camera and it changes the perspective. So there's no way to really fix that except to break this into smaller pieces. Okay, but anyway, let me go back to the beginning. And now to get the, the position of one of these guys, I'll go to create point mass, and then I can just click him in each frame, and and then it will it will give me the it'll give me my data that I want. So that's how to make a calibration point pair in tracker video.